Good day prisoner, this is Alistars. Alright, today in this video we are taking care of the lock picking. Quite a few things to learn for it to uh, be good at it, or at least have some chance of picking them up, picking uh, the locks. As well understanding the way uh, it works when you get, you want to protect yourself from the zapping or um, like the usage of gloves and that sort of things. Alright, so let's get started. First of all, we are going to talk about the type of locks. There is no four type of locks uh, in the games. There is the old rusty locks, which are on these. All right, let's pause Ali here for a second and let's talk about those locks. They are very easy to lock pick. You, everyone, doesn't matter your TV level, get 10 to 11 seconds to lock pick it. And there is a huge amount of time that you can spend just pressing F before it breaks. So you got, anybody can really do those locks. Don't be afraid of it. And my last point is that if you have played games like Skyrim beforehand, then you won't have as much issue at all. Alright, good luck. Uh, type of locked lockers. We have uh, the player made one, which are the iron lock, silver lock, and an enforced lock. So, uh, so basic, pretty much is basic, medium, and advanced. Okay, and. The only difference between them is how big the sweet spots on them is, okay? Uh, just the, they are just harder and harder to, to lock picks. That's the main difference with them. Now, we also have three types of zappers. And uh, I believe the ones that are in the kill boxes are those ones. But they don't show up on behind the doors, but they are the type of lockers that are on it. Now, we've got three types of lock picks. So you got the bobby pin one uh, that uh, will improv is called the improvised lock picks. This one right here, and then we have the medium lock picks and the advanced one all the way here. So these are the three one we are interested to work with. Um, I will talk about the, how you can quickly get them out and all quick uh, towards the end of the video. So it's a little tip that will be there for you guys if you don't know it. Now. Um, the way to train yourself is has become very easy now. So all you have to do is select, craft yourself one of those board, lock picking board it's called. And then once you have it made, put it there because it's marking up with the gloves, the bare gloves. All right. So now we can train ourselves on every type of locks. All right. So basically uh, on this character, I do have my advanced theory. Okay. So, uh, the only things that it changed when you have advanced TV is how much more time you get when you are in, in lock picking mode. That's, that's all it is. Okay. It doesn't give you any other advantage. The only difference of advantage is the type of lock that you are going to, uh, the type of lock picks you are going to be using. All right. We also now have two types of, uh, screwdrivers. You've got the maximum of three for the red ones and the maximum of 40 for the yellow and black one all right that's it for the lock picks the locks let's start talk quickly about the gloves now when you do a kill box you really want to be able to use medical gloves or insulated gloves is if you don't have a choice because the zapping in the kill box now is quite strong um when the server i was playing on it was about 10 10 health points that was just getting smashed and uh unofficially it might be around five i'm not sure but it has been up quite a bit and it's making it has been made a lot harder not to to get through it so if you go into a kill box you need one of those two no always be careful to not have any gloves uh because if you for example use the tactical gloves and you go about lock picking you get a little icon um right we will make it right over there the gloves icon as you can see and this glove icon is going to tell you that you are using a glove that makes lock picking harder so the, the difference is gonna make is you are gonna pack your lock picks faster okay that's that's all it does and this type of gloves is not going to protect you from the zapping while this as long as it's got more than zero percent health it will protect you okay these ones will wear out a lot faster when they get you will get zapped and this one will wear will uh, wear off longer but they will be harder to lock pick with 
You can lock picks with open finger gloves. This is not going to change anything. It's considering that you are the top tip of your fingers are free, so you can feel things a lot easier. That's the goal uh, that the devs are put in the game. So wearing Santa gloves, any type of gloves that is full length, okay, will give you issues. Now I've got the bare gloves here for for a very good reason. I'm gonna show you quickly. I'm gonna wear them. This type of gloves is making the lock picking the hardest. So why would you want to use that? Well, that's very simple. If you go into lockpick, whichever locks, if it's either advanced or the other one, and you go into the mod, this is going to pretty much break instantly. Best is to even use this type of lockpicks. Just take it in your hands, drop this one back. So let's go into the try and lockpick the advance. And as soon as I'm pressing space to get it started, and then press F to start lockpicking. It's nearly instant the way it's gonna break. And what it does, it's actually going to level up your uh, lock picking faster. So it's a way to for you guys, if you want to level up your lock picking skill, you got a bit of time off, you are in your base, I don't know, you are digesting food or something, whatever you wanna do, and you got a bit of time to lose, go and do that because it will give you a bit of fame and it will give you uh, a way for you to level up your theory by just failing it, okay? That's the quickest way to level it up if you want to do it. So, bare gloves, basic lockpicks, any screwdrivers, because the reason is, you when you are using a lockpicking board, you do not use any uh, screwdriver tries or lockpicks. So that's what's great about it, okay? You can, you can really smash it, I'm gonna show you what's, currently I am at 34,100. Let's try again, one more time. And this quarter of a second, I've made another 50.8 experience, okay? So that's one way to get it up there. If you were to do it on, on this, every time, even if you succeed or fail, every time you will be using your, your picks as well as you will lose the one point of fame. Every time you fail. All right, so don't don't use those. Don't have any gloves on... Uh, any, when you are doing the liquors, you don't need any gloves at all. Okay, unless you, you just want to make it harder for yourself. And when you are lock picking a base or doing the kill box, then you will need those type of gloves to protect yourself the best. Now, these ones are not that hard to use. Okay, I've managed to do a lot of kill boxes with uh, these insulated rubber gloves. It just makes it a little harder, yes. But as long as you are using the advanced lock pick, it won't matter too much. Okay, uh, from all the tests I've done, I've been able to do it. I'm certainly not the greatest look picker, but I can I can hold my my uh, my hand if I need to. <laughs> I'm sure you guys have seen it on stream sometimes. Sometimes I do struggle, and sometimes I get it for the score. It's just there is part of luck in a lock picker. Now, instead of showing you my face and all, everything, I will show you uh, my keyboard and how I do it. All right. So um, I currently use a, a Logitech G502 Hero. Whatever that is, but the way I have said it is that um, I actually lower my DPI down to 500. 450 currently at the moment, but 500 is the way I like it. Now, why is that? Don't really want to pick it up. I'm gonna go with the advance, and I'm gonna go, go and have a few tries while you still have the camera on me while I'm still talking. So I'm going to lower my DPI. It's down no, to 500 or down for, uh, from, uh, I think it's got 1050. It is, it is set up, up, set up, up, set up at. All right. So the way I do it, you want to find that sweet spot so where you are going to be able to find um, stats for it to start turning. So where I do it is I try and search. Okay. So I didn't manage to find a little bit of it. I didn't fully lock pick it, but. Your lock picks start exactly um, all, uh, when you first started at the 90, 90 degrees angle. And then you got to try and find it. So I, I try to do it 10, 15 degrees per 15 degrees to try and find a sweet spot. And the way you have to do it is really tap F. Okay. All right. Now let's go back to uh, you guys showing the keyboard and everything. All right. It's as simple as this. Got my touch F here. 
can't really get it any closer but you will see me going tap 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 i try to find a rhythm okay so let's go you will you can see i think enough of the mouse pad and you are gonna see me use the entire space of my mouse now if you don't have as much space as i do try well best is to try and make that or you are gonna have to use a bit more dpi or having to just jump over your mouse this way okay you know how it works now let's lock pick this Start. I try to start in the middle. I'm gonna restart it because gives me more advantage. I try and give more myself some, as much space as I can. I've got the mic here. Yeah, it's a bit weird to have it there, but I don't have a boom uh, to go over, so that's the way I do it. <laughs> All right. So as you could see, I'm trying every few angles. I'm trying to turn it, and see where the, that sweet spot, the sweet spot is. See, it really breaks very quickly if you hold it for so long. It really doesn't take much. So you got to be careful. You got to find a sweet spot with your mouse and then you have to tap F um, with a certain rhythm. If you do it too fast, it's not good. If you do it too slow, then it's not good either. I should have went back. It's all right. That was close, but not quite. Sometimes you are not, never, not even gonna find it. Okay, it's just the way it is. It depends on your luck. Finding the earliest you find that sweet spot, or being able to start turning it, is when you you're gonna really start to move less and less until you find the right spot. Oops. I went the wrong way. See, I went left. I went back left. I was a bit out of uh, of it. But I tried to went back thinking that I had gone already too far, but I did not. Wrong way again. Sometimes I just try, sort of throw it away. See, if I see it, I'm not going to have enough time to do it. I'm just not gonna bother and I'm just gonna reset. So I let go as soon as it blocks, okay? That is where it is very difficult. Some people just keep on tapping. I don't really like that. It's just wrong way. There is a luck element in, in this. Finding the sweet spots on the first Tries is very rare, but does happen. Oh, sometimes it does miss a bit for some reason. It does not want to do it. So if you have this sort of issue, always go in first person as close as possible. So you don't use as much, you get as much FPS as you can. All right, currently I'm at 96, so it should not be an issue. All right, some people are wondering why I like to uh, lay down when I'm going to lockpick. And the main reason is because if you are crouching or if you are standing up, your character is going to be sort of moving. And to some, it's not distracting at all. To me, it really is. When the character is moving like this, it's just very annoying. So what you can do is go into third person, right click, go like this, and start look picking. You're in third person, so you're gonna lose a bit of FPS. Take it with you. Go in first person. Or take it on your body. That's even better. And let's go. <sighs> that took me quite a few tries to get it done. That was the lucky one. And there's a good one. Right, now, now let's turn ourselves with the advanced lock pick. So all you have to do is just select it directly. Okay, put it in your hands or having it on you, doesn't matter. Works the same. Oh. 
So as you can see, this big difference in how fast, how fast the red one breaks and how fast the blue one, the regular, well, the basic crafted one have. I can get a lot more aggressive with F. I have a lot better success like this one when I the sweet spot is on the top for some reason. I don't know, probably because it's easier to notice exactly where you are even when you, you have started turning so you can see the difference of angle between um, that middle in the lock and the rest. Uh, so you can see it can take me quite a few tries to get it right but you see the movement of my mouse you see who oh, I tap f there is a lot of improvement that i get on this part Mo most people have gonna have the improvement less uh from how fast they are tapping f it just depends on everyone's skills and to be honest um i do struggle quite a bit with it sometimes mediums ones are very lot easier to lockpick particularly if you are using a good advanced lockpick. The first go for this one. Sometimes it takes a bit longer. And four five tries for the VR unlocks. Now, one last tip for you guys. Whoops, stay up. One last tip for you guys that are uh, entering the lock picking. One thing that if you want to do a lock pick somewhere, there is a tip for you. Uh, it's very easy. Instead of, as you could see, having to right click, take one bobby pin out all the time, what you can do is select your lock picks or anything that is going to highlight your crafting button. Then you are going to examine that bobby pin and you are going to click craft. And this is going to take all the bobby pins very quickly to spam left click and this will take away all the bobby pins very, out very quickly. As you can see I got a full list now ready to go. All right so go for it, go lock picks, enjoy yourselves, learn about it using this lock picking board it's available and you don't use anything if anything you are going to make fame as you can see i well went back to 459 and i've leveled up a bit my lock picking skill all right because even a failure is going to give you just as much as a succeed all right that's the difference with um, the practice bombs on which it doesn't give you anything until you succeed but it's a lot more easier Apart from the fact that if you are doing it on a puppet, well, you're gonna die <laughs> quite a lot sometimes. But anyway, that will be for another lesson. Thank you guys for watching. I hope to see you. But yeah, that will be for another one. So I hope to see you guys in the next video. Bye. Thank you for watching.